So you want to build some muscle. That is great because when I started doing this, my gains absolutely exploded. This story starts in 2017. By this time, I had been in the gym some years, I had made some gains, but my body stopped growing. In fact, from 2015 to 2017, for two straight years, I was going to the gym six to seven days a week. I was slamming down as much protein as I possibly could, and I was stuck. I didn't gain one pound of muscle. I wasn't getting stronger. And at this time, I started to blame my genetics because after all, my father was stuck for a very long time at being six foot three, 255 pounds with 7% body fat. All right, so here is how I snapped out of this quick. I go and buy the Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding on Amazon, and I start reading it and one night I'm looking at Arnold Schwarzenegger's training program and I see him doing insane amounts of volume this training program is straight up ridiculous Monday Wednesday and Friday in the morning he hits chest and back like a 20 to 30 set chest and back workout then in the evening on Monday Wednesday and Friday he does a 20 to 30 set leg day and I'm reading this and all I could think to myself is there is no way humanly possible any human being can do this year-round and not burn out and guess what he he did not do this year round. He did this simply one time of the year when he was trying to grow or for an upcoming show. Now stay with me because I know what you're probably thinking right now. Number one, Arnold was not natural. Number two, Arnold had hours every single day to train. This was his career and his life. And number three, Arnold has crazy genetics. But take a step back and think about this logically. Your body is an adaptation machine. And if you're doing the same thing for three, four, five straight years and you're not growing, literally the most insane thing you can do is expect to do the same thing and get different results. So what is the solution? I call it games season. I told you, you need to train calves. Leave me alone, it's game season. Come on. And it can help you make a year's worth of gains or more in just 90 straight days. Now, don't believe me? Remember that muscle building plateau I had back in 2017? Well, here is my first before and after, after properly doing a 90 day gains season. How do you do it? In short, you wanna shock the muscle. Or shocked the muscle. So please take notes because these are the seven steps you need to follow to unlock a year's worth of muscle gains in 90 days. And yes, you need to follow all seven steps. Six out of the seven is not gonna cut it. Seven out of seven is where the magic happens. And step number one is I want you to start for two to four weeks before you enter gain season on a calorie deficit. So right now I'm doing mine. I'm eating about 2,500 to 2,700 calories a day. That's like a five to 700 calorie deficit. I'm trying to get lean. The magic happens when you start gain season lean. Any person who competes in bodybuilding, men's physique, whatever, they diet down. And the period of rapid growth is when they bump up the calories and training intensity after a show. So that is exactly what we're tapping into here. Step number two, I want you to do nothing for a week. I want you to desensitize your muscles. So either take a complete complete rest week from the gym or you do a deload week. This is so important. This will probably be the hardest step for many of you. I miss you guys so much. Daddy will see you real soon, okay? All right, step number three. I want you to write down at least three inspiring fitness goals that you hope to achieve in 90 days or less. Get so big, Greg, you set questions by Natty status. I want you to actually write these goals down and I want you to look at these goals every single day when you wake up. This is so important because these goals should motivate you and they should hopefully push you to persevere through those days you don't wanna to go to the gym. So I'm gonna put you on the spot right now. Pause this video and write down in the comments below at least one big fitness goal you want to achieve in 90 days or less and I'll select one person who comments to win a free mystery supplement from my company Elfline and shout out to Caleb who on the very last video won the biggest giveaway in channel history. Step number four, now the fun begins because I want you pushing the limits of your body for the next 90 days in the gym. And what I mean by that is whatever training volume that you're used to doing, at the bare minimum, I want you doing 20 to 30% more. This is where the magic is gonna happen. I want you doing more volume 
and more intensity. I want you tracking your lifts. I want you tracking your strength at the bare minimum. Pick five to seven of the most important lifts. Maybe it's barbell bench press, barbell deadlift, squat, row. Pick five to seven of your most important lifts. I want you to write down the weight and reps every single week in a workout log. And I want you to be like the robot terminator the next week trying to lift five or 10 pounds more. And I want you to track your training volume and your strength for the next 90 days and crank up that intensity. Now, I made an entire playlist for you down in the description below of all the workouts you need to smash every single muscle group during gain season. Literally on the channel homepage, there is multiple workout playlists that will have you covered for all of gain season. Use these resources, guys. Step number five, it's very simple. You just gotta eat in a small calorie surplus and eat around one gram of protein per pound of body weights. For reference, I'm almost 200 pounds right now. I'm trying to eat at the start of my gain season, 3,300 calories and about 200 grams of protein. If the scale stays the same for a week or two, guess what? I'll bump up my calories by 200. I'll start eating 3,500 calories. I know there's a lot of different free calculators where you can guess and check your maintenance and your surplus calories. If the scale isn't moving, keep on bumping up those calories. Step number six, I want you to sleep more and stress less. If your body's used to five and a half, six hours of sleep, I want you to now rest seven hours. Give your body enough rest to grow because remember, when you go in the gym, all you're doing is you're creating healthy micro damage. If you want your muscles to grow and become bigger and stronger, you wanna rest during gain season, especially, remember, we're cranking up the volume and intensity, rest, becomes essential. And don't forget to stress less. This is the best time of the year to keep those stress levels low and chill the f out. And step number seven, this is so important. This will be the difference between you looking like Ronnie Coleman or Ronnie your neighbor at the end of gain season. I want you on a whiteboard, a sheet of paper, whatever is convenient for you. I want you to make 90 boxes in every single day during gain season that you crush your workouts, you nail your macros. I want you to check the box. You will become addicted to checking this box. And there is something so incredibly powerful you're gonna be three weeks in, you're gonna see 21 boxes checked in a row. It's gonna become so incredibly easy for you to finish for the next two to three months. So that is gain season in a nutshell. Gain season is beautiful because most who work out don't set any goals to grow. Most who work out don't train hard enough to grow. Most who work out don't do enough volume to grow. They don't lift heavy enough to grow. They surely don't track their calories. They don't check boxes every single day. You do these seven steps, it is literally the fail-proof blueprint to building muscle mass as fast as humanly possible. So make sure you tap that bell so you do not miss out on any of the videos during gain season to keep you accountable. And I want you to go watch this video next. You do not make the toxic mental mistake that was killing my gains for years. And if you do not fix this mistake, it could literally destroy your gain season. So go check out this video next and I'll see you in a few days. A shocked the muscle. A shocked the muscle. A shocked the muscle. No gains. You ain't lift no weights. <laughs>